The word together is about not the children we work with necessarily, which are babies and toddlers and three, four, five-year-olds, but about the parents and caregivers that come with them. Because it's really from adults that the children learn how to sing in tune and move with accurate rhythm. So here, like in places all around the world, we play simple percussion instruments, we sing together, and largely it's the grown-ups doing that. Sometimes the children are just... But when they go home, they start to repeat everything that happened in class, and that's how they learn. We, we grew and we grew, and um, in the 21st century, which began not long ago, we decided we really needed our own place. This was the former restaurant, and boy, did it need a lot of work. It took us four years to renovate it, partly because of my green attitude. We were able to do geothermal heating and cooling, and we also have recently, thanks to Green Power Energy, augmented our energy needs with solar units right in our backyard. Green Power Energy has been in business since 2009. We've got the resources of a lot of larger companies, but we're also small enough to give business owners the attention that they need. We've done solar on schools, on big manufacturing buildings, and on small businesses as well. The Gottesman Academy was a great project to be involved in. They hadn't broken ground yet by the time we got involved with them, but they had the foresight to realize that including solar in the designs was going to be important. Gottesman Academy was actually named Hebrew Academy of Morris County when it was founded in 1967. About 40% of the time spent in the classroom is on Judaics and Hebrew language, and the rest of it is secular education. And it was important right from the very beginning that we include solar power. We had spent some time with three different solar power system integrators. Uh, Green Power worked really well with our construction management firm, and we went and visited a couple of installations and we found happy customers. We could have borrowed the money, we could have uh, raised additional funds. We actually chose a third path. The school is actually allowing us to use the rooftop while they buy power from the partnership. We think that this is a model that other nonprofits can follow. Uh, with a 30% federal tax credit, it changes the uh, economics quite nicely, and it's a big incentive. So there's the 30% tax credit, and then also the depreciation, which can add up to another 30% worth of tax savings over the course of five years. We also have NJSREX, which create an additional source of income, and then the electric savings, which you'll save on your electric bill every month and for years going forward. To be sure you get the full 30% tax credit. You have to have the system installed in 2019. So we're in 2017 now, so the next couple of years here are important in making a decision. The solar power is probably producing about $22,000 worth of energy. And eventually, if the school owns it, then they get all of that benefit plus some SREX. The decision to go solar at this point in life and in business was carefully considered. It had to make financial sense. When I looked at it more deeply, it, it seemed like, well, why wouldn't I? Solar technology has become more and more affordable. Federal and local state agencies are encouraging such installations. It makes a ton of sense to at least look into solar and see if that's a way you can, you can lower your operating costs. And even if the business doesn't have the capital up front to make that kind of investment, we can work with them and provide them with a couple different financing options where they don't necessarily need to bring a ton of money to the table. I can tell you with a high degree of confidence that financially it was a wonderful decision and it's a good thing for the environment. It's a wonderful combination. The return on the investment has been very satisfying to someone who, me, who didn't really want to play the market, but I've been sleeping at night very well for the last decade or so. I know that if I had to make all these decisions now, I would still choose to do what we did because well, you know, it, it feels good. It makes financial sense and it feels good. <laughs>